Hello again, this is Chaos Margin 328 with another part of Ratchet and Clank going commando. Uh, I know I said I wanted to have another episode out before Thanksgiving, and here's hoping I can have this out tomorrow. Uh, well, it's technically, what, 5 minutes to 12, and it's going to be Wednesday, so here's the hoping. And I apologize if I start sounding like I'm going to cough up my kidney, but I haven't fought off this cold completely. But here's the hope, and I can go about 30 to 40 minutes without dry heaving or something weird like that. At any rate, I would have gotten to this a lot sooner, if not for school and Borderlands 2. Mostly Borderlands 2. I have been fighting with the random number god yet again, trying to get a conference call to spawn. And I'd rather not ask somebody to dupe it for me. Let's just say moonshot farming was not my idea of fun. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, voices acting up. And so we're heading to the next level. I forgot I saved here. And next level, Mega, Mega, Megapolis and Daco. Ooh, how come I couldn't say that? That's terrible. So yeah, I've been playing Borderlands 2. And I got Paper Mario Star Sticker. So far, it's so good. But I've been playing so much Borderlands 2, I forgot how to think. So I've literally, literally been having so many, uh, moments that it's kind of saddening. Okay, back to the game. Help, help desk, we know this. Okay, so, standard right and clank stuff. You're gonna want to take the left path, it's a lot simpler. And you, these guys are a pain in the neck. They have, I'm guessing they're trash destroying lasers, but... On challenge mode, they are a lot more annoying, and they do a lot more damage. So right off the bat, we have an electrolyzer puzzle. These... Oh god. I literally went brain dead for like four seconds. <laughs> no, uh, no offense to people who... Or no people who are, are clinically brain dead. I mean, no offense by that, but I, my brain literally stopped for about four seconds. And god dang it, I still got Borderlands 2 on the mind. I'm just gonna name this Borderlands... It's gonna be Ratchet Clank on Commando Part 3, Borderlands. Cause I'm trying to reload with Circle, but that's how I throw weapons. I mean, that's how I use my weapons, and I'm using R1 to shoot when I'm crouching like a jerk. Anyways, this level is perfect for the the multi disc launcher or multi star launcher, or actually no, sorry, I'm calling it the upgraded name, the Chopper. And you have another electrolyzer puzzle. These these really aren't bad. It's the other puzzle thing I hate with a burning passion that rivals 10,000 fiery suns. And another thing I should say, if I start singing Camelot songs, please forgive me because I have the Camelot, the new Camelot album, and I also have the new El Nino album, so I'm really, really happy. So now we get to control the crane, which is a lot of fun if you're feeling really jerkish. Wait, can I do this? I could have sworn I did this in my practice run. Hold up. Can I grab these guys? No, I can't grab them. Huh. Oh, now I remember what I did. I took the metal crate. Well, the idea is to take the metal crate and make a little stepping platform for here. What I like to do every now and then, while well, my control was acting up for a couple seconds, what I like to do is try to crush these guys. Granted, it takes time. Oh, never mind. It takes a little bit of time, but it's still funny. Seeing as how people, there's actually some people who are here watching me progress, I don't want to waste time. Nope, leave me alone. I'd rather not waste time. No, get away. So, the, the part of the part of this level mostly has the left side has mostly crane controls, burning hot iron on the ground. I would jump in there to see how hot it is, but that's too. Oh jeez, I thought I killed him. And as you see, I took did I get hit once already, or did that take two? I don't. I wasn't really paying attention. You have to forgive me. These guys take them out from a distance. They have machine guns. They are jerks. And they strafe, which puts them about five leagues higher than most of the enemies in this game. Well, so far at least. Yes, he fell. I was hoping for that. God, that makes me sound like I'm a terrible person. And what the heck happened to the lighting for a second? Right. Okay, seriously, why can't we strafe with this weapon? This weapon would be so much better. Oh, another thing I got through playing was the Devil May Cry demo. Ooh. Yeah, the less I talk about that, the better. 
It's a decent game for what it's worth, but it's no Devil May Cry. Oh, man. The reason I bring this up is because I just got off of GameFAQ, and I, I have to question it. What happened to GameFAQ? It used to be a decent place. I, I really don't want to be that kind of guy and just blame it on this upsurge of Dude Bro Games or another derogative way to, like, FPS games. But what happened? It, it used to be such a... Like, you could literally go onto the board, ask a question, and nine times out of ten, there were people who would help you out instead of calling you, wow, get a life, or you nerd, or something strange like that. I, I don't get it. What happened? It's like... The only decent places on GameFAQ are the niche boards, but even then, you got people who would probably call you, oh, you're just a... Uh, a weeboo-loving, lolly-loving lunatic who deserves to be locked up or something even worse. Yes, apparently liking JRPGs puts you... You should be put on the FBI watch list. Yes, it's become that bad. Okay, back to the game. This is actually a skill point that I'm going for right now. If you grab one of these trash laser bots and use their lasers to kill the enemies, you should get a skill point. I believe it's seven or six, not too sure. But it should pop up soon. And did he go off screen? What the? How did he? That's not supposed to happen. Okay, there. Come, come here. Don't avoid. Oh, good lord. Come here. There we go. Hmm. It should have unlocked by now. Okay, maybe I'll just kill this guy and then unlock. Come here. Normally, I don't go for skill points unless I could get all of them in one go. But I just like going for this one because it makes me feel evil. Okay, now that you clear all the enemies. You can make your little stepping platform, or you can try to get the, the the platinum bolt that's hitting here. You need First thing you need to do is grab your step, and then grab one of these detonation boxes, try to line them up on top of one another, and it should blow up a gate. As you see the debris from the door flying by, I did it correctly. Yay. You wouldn't believe how many times I mess I botched that one up in my practice room. So now you wait. I'm taking the wrong thing. Oh crap! Uh, so let's take this back and then go grab the TNT box and blow up the door. And this thing is slow, ungodly slow. Why are you so slow? Move faster, please. Thank you. Another thing I would like to talk about is seeing this is like my first LP. I'm excited, but at the same time, I feel like. The Runaway Guys, Super Genius, Josh Jefferson, these guys were not kidding when they said it takes a year and a half to render your files. I mean, sure, it wasn't that bad when I was doing Sengoku Basara videos, but come things are like 30 minutes long and, ooh, it takes about two and a half hours for me to render this. It's painful. And my internet connection is not the fastest, so my uploading speed is around what, it'd take about an hour, an hour and a half for me to get one of these things up, so I'm really hoping I could get this up before Thanksgiving. If I can't get it up before Thanksgiving, it will be on Thanksgiving. Internet withstanding, at least. Alright, so, we're almost done with this crane section. Oh, jeez! Hey, now it's like increase. We're almost done with the crane section. Well, we're done with the crane section. We're almost done with this section. <laughs> What would, what would you call this area? It's like the back ways into a building or something? I don't know. The the alleyways of the future? Possibly. Who knows? Uh, and I still have Torn by Camo stuck in my head. This is going to be really fun. I hope I don't start singing. I don't have a good singing voice. Yeah, you did kind of go down. <laughs> Son of a quark. Funny how Quark is synonymous with the B-word in this universe. Though, actually, when I think about it, it makes a lot of sense, given how Quark is. And there are a lot of electrolyzer puzzles in this game. I mean, in this level, particularly. But they're simple. So there's nothing to really complain about. <clears throat> Clank vanished for a couple of seconds. That was rude. Where are we? Clank is awesome. Let's find a way out of here. What is that sound? Is that my PS3 making that noise? 
Huh. Oh, they don't even show Clank going into the air ducks. That's really weird. Okay, Clank plays a little bit different. Square attack, he punches things. He can't double jump, but he can glide if you hold X after immediately after your jump. But what Clank has is something really, really, really fun. Oh, please don't tell me things. Okay, good. Oh, I got hit. Jeez. Clank has something that's really, really awesome. Microbots. These are Clank's weapons. If they would follow me. Okay. So, you bring up the, the command wheel. You have salute, follow. You'll see what that does later. Attack. You'll see what this does later. Enter. you see what that does later. you see what that does later. And wait. For now, I'm going to order them to attack. And they will beat the crap out of whatever is in the way. Or die trying. I think I lost one. I'm gonna go get. Oh, no. Oh, he followed me. Huh, nice. Bridge bots. I like bridge bots. They, they're kind of funny looking. But kind of ingenious, too, at the same time. Now, here's where it gets a little bit. Oh, oh man. It gets a little bit wonky because every now and then your little minions don't exactly follow you all the time. And you don't necessarily have to retract the bridge, but if you go a couple of feet away, he'll retract himself and follow you. Now, when you order your microbots to attack, try to angle yourself in a way that you're, they don't run into the laser like they just did. Uh, wait, what the? How did he? Oh, oh, here's the respawn thing. I was like, where did he come from? I could have sworn he got destroyed. So yeah, when you order your microbots to attack, try to angle yourself in a way that they don't run headlong into the lasers. It's funny, but then, at the same time, it looks kind of... It makes you look like a jerk. Actually, you look like a jerk just making them run into the lasers over and over, but that's besides the point. Okay. Now, here, I think this is neat, but it's kind of pointless. Have them salute you. <laughs> I just wish there was more sections in the game with this kind of gameplay, because I really do like using the microbots. They're tons of fun to use. I think there's only two sections in the entire game where they have microbots, the hammer bot, the lift bot. Yeah, you'll see the hammer bot much later in the game. Hmm, so angle yourself over here. Please don't follow me all the way over here, guys. And there you go. And because that thing is still chasing me, it won't aim at them. And I think I lost one. Nope, they're all here. Retract bridge, because I'm just that kind of person. And you order them to enter the gates, and they open up the doors for you. And everybody's happy. Unfortunately, they don't follow you. Right, you can't command them. It sucks. That would have been really fun. On top of everything, you have microbots, hammerbots, bridge bots, and Ratchet's arsenal. And now we got Clink back. From Ratchet and Clink 1, the controls are pretty much the same. You hold R1 and then press X to do the crouch jump. Long distance jumps is run, then press R1, run, then press R1, then X. Glide, jump, and then hold X. You can, in the gadgets menu, switch to switch your backpacks. I like the helipack more than the jetpack. Yeah, the jetpack is not as good as it was in part one. It's just cosmetic at this in this one. So, the other skill point in this level is to... The other skill point in this level is to break a lot of cr Well, actually, I think a lot of the skill points boil down to breaking a lot of stuff. Don't forget to go around to break all the boxes and get bolts. Bolts are good. Bolts are great. Bolts make the universe go around. Like, I, I have to ask a question. I know it's supposed to be about Ratchet Clank, but it's a single Kubasara question. Would anybody be interested in watching me and a friend do a unification run? I mean, unification mode takes forever, but considering how much time and effort I put into that game, most of my, I wouldn't say most of my, a lot of my characters are, um, decent to good to overpowered Nobunaga, but would anybody honestly be interested in watching a unification run, probably on hard difficulty or maybe Basada with two people? I don't know, it's just a thought. Because I have a friend of mine, he plays, I got him into playing Sengoku Pissar, he knows, he knows a lot of things that I probably miss, so our fighting styles really complement one another, and it might be interesting to watch, it might not, I don't know, 
It's just a thought. If anybody would like that, I would certainly post it. See if I could get him to help me out. Now we're going. Oh jeez, I hate these sweeper bots. These guys are the bane of my existence in this level. But of course, the chopper makes short work of them. And I was this close to saying "torn by the thorns in my hand." <sighs> note to self: no music before recording sessions. End note. Here is a little bit wonky because it's an enclosed space, but like I said before, the chopper makes quick work of enemies. Just throw it in that little alcove and watch the damage. If you're not careful, it's really easy to get overwhelmed. The new jeez! Case in point. No, Ratchet, what are you doing? Throw it! Oh, jeez, here we go. There we go. And when the camera doesn't want to be your friend with a weapon that doesn't have strafing options, it can be a pain in the neck. And I really hope I'm not going C now, but I did get a platinum bolt already, right? I'm going, yeah, I'm going for the second one right now. Ooh. Yes, we get a, we get an, an early view of what the boss of this level is. On normal mode, he's easy. On challenge mode, you got to be a little bit more careful because his attacks will take a chunk of your health out if you're not careful. The next platinum bolt down here. Don't jump too far out or you will miss you will fall off the ledge. That's how I found the platinum bolt the first time around when I first played this game. I literally jumped off and fell to my death and I saw it on the way down. It was hilarious. So yeah, I got a platinum bolt. Oh come on Ratchet, don't start this again. You had I had the same problem in my practice run. Couldn't climb it for some odd reason. Okay, this part's gonna suck. Well not suck per se, but Wait, switch to the Heavy Lancer, break that, switch to the Mini Nuke, and just fry them. Normally I wouldn't use my Heavy Nuke for such a situation, but I feel like the situation called. What the? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got 30 chopper bolts. I'll come back and show what's over there. At, at the end of the, near the end of the video. It's kind of important, but not so much, it's not the most important thing, like it could wait until later, but I might as well show what's over there anyways, because it's, the grind section is actually kind of fun. And I did it in my practice run without getting hit, here's hoping I could do it too. That's, not do it too, but do it a second time as well. And why am I breaking all these when I'm not trying to go for the skill point? Okay, so now we're moving along. I really want to level this weapon up. Okay, here. If you break the one on the right, it'll summon enemy... Did it just... What happened? It's like it vanished. Well, if you break the one on the right, it should open up the pathway to the boss. But you can't stick around and break the second one and kill more enemies from more bolts, more weapon experience, and things like that. I don't know, I think I'm gonna stick around. Try to get more chopper ammo. Not chopper ammo, chopper experience. I didn't do this for my practice run. I went straight for the boss just to see how well I can do, because it's been a while. And with Borderlands, <coughs> Borderlands on the brain, I don't want it to mess me up. Okay, so I got 19, that's not bad. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Okay, I think I should be good. 35 should be more than enough. Hella chopped the time. I would so love to work for this guy. This dude's cool. Choose balls. Okay, electric attacks. They home in on your, your original location. Machine gun, you can hide behind the barricades and until he starts firing rockets at you, then he breaks barricades. What I really found cool, oh jeez, what I really found cool about this boss fight is that you can actually see the damage on his helicopter. His rockets are painful. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could do this without getting hit, but alas. So, Chopper makes this a cakewalk. Throw a Chopper, keep it moving. And because they home in on him, they'll just keep bouncing off of nothing. Throw a couple of them and just watch his health fall. See, simple stuff. 
And it leveled up. Nice, I got the multi-star launcher. Thank you, game. I really didn't know that. So yeah, that boss is really easy. So now we're in Ratchet and Clank's apartment. You get a Jack and Daxter cameo. I don't know if that's a TV screen or a wallpaper. Who knows? Uh, this brings back great memories. Slingshots. Slingshotting is so much fun. You shoot with circle and hold it, or you can aim with L1 and fire. Personally, I don't even bother with the aiming unless I really, really have to. I'm really going to turn off the help desk. Okay, so I'm going to cut ahead to the to where the slingshot was. I doubt anybody wants to see me run all the way over there, so I'll be right back. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so here we are at the slingshot with the rail section. Let's do it. Uh, does the music change, or is that only in part one when you start doing rail sections, the, the music changes? Rails. You jump with the X, you can use your wrench. Uh, there aren't enemies in the way in this level, but you hold a direction left or right, and you press X to jump in that direction. There are some segments like this where you need to jump and use a slingshot. I almost died, which would have kind of sucked. No! Dang it! Oh man, I failed on both ends. I got hit on the boss. And I got hit here. Jeez. Oh well. And the music skips for some reason. That's really, really weird. Time for the last hurrah. And here we go. Please don't get hit by that. And you know what? I don't even trust my luck. Let me just shoot it. <clears throat> this is technically the first time you can run into this guy, but you can run into him later. I don't know if the cutscene still happens, though. The weapon mods in this game are hit and miss. For some weapons, they're... It's more noticeable. For other weapons, it's kind of pointless. Now, I'm not too sure what should happen if I... Okay, it's still one platinum ball. Okay, because in my practice file, when I did this, I didn't have the multi-star launcher. I still had the chopper. So all, I have six platinum bolts. Everything all together costs six. So I'm gonna. If you're playing along with me, you're gonna use up all your bolts. If you decide to, I'm gonna use them all. Lock on mod, which is kind of pointless because it kind of does lock on already. Um, the shock mod. Every bullet electrocutes enemies. Acid mod. It covers them in acid and does damage over time. And another lock on mod. That's pretty much it. It's acid mod, lock on mod, and shocking mods. If I missed one, it'll probably show up on a later weapon. And you take the translocator, and now you can go come, come to this uh, anytime you want to go to Slim Cognito Shack for uh, modding your weapons. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Jeez. Well, actually, I think I've been doing pretty okay with the lack of coughing and the lack of singing. Who knows? And I'm surprised I waited until now to break these. Huh, I did the exact same thing in my practice run. Okay, that actually went surprisingly well, all things considering. So I'm going to end it off here. Next time, I will be heading to... I can't even remember the level. That's terrible. Next time, I'll be heading to Volk of Kenya. Oh boy, the Hover by Graces. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Alright then, this is Chaos Martin 328 and I'm signing out. Thank you for watching.